推。A quite rare opportunity. I took a Chinese Tai Chi class in Thailand. The teacher is Zhang Chuxiong, a Thai resident whose ancestral roots are in China. He claims that he's the sixth generation successor of Yang style Tai Chi. His reputation attracts many Thai students, and most stick with his instruction for the physical and spiritual benefits they find in Tai Chi. From another classroom flow the sounds of the Chinese folk instrument Gu Zheng. Teacher Li Yang was originally a Gu Zheng soloist in the Gansu Provincial Song and Dance Troupe. She came to Bangkok to play and teach in the 1990s. In 2000, she took on a high-profile student, Thailand's Princess Chulaporn. 当来那个时候啊，中国的民乐起头，古筝虽然是最受欢迎的，但是知名度仍然很低。其实我觉得古筝真正的推广应该是泰国的朱拉蓬公主开始学琴，因为泰国的媒体，他们是有皇室新闻的，每天都在新闻上看见公主去排练了，呃，然后今天又弹什么曲儿了，是这样，就彻底的让泰国人认识了这件乐器。Tai Chi and Gu Zheng are both courses provided by the Chinese Cultural Center in Bangkok. In addition, Thai students can learn Chinese, calligraphy, and take traditional Chinese painting courses here. Launched in November 2012, it was China's first cultural center in Southeast Asia. I specifically put on this Chinese traditional clothes in Hanfu to visit this Chinese cultural center in Bangkok. Here students are very interested in learning Chinese culture and they're not surprised at all at what I'm wearing today. Actually in this region, Chinese is very popular. You don't have to speak English or Thai to come to Thailand. Indeed, most locals, especially young people, can almost seamlessly switch between three languages. My school teach three or four languages. My family was, yeah, 是海南人。然后我们的家就说中文，在这里。中泰两国呢，地缘相近啊，文化相通。大概七百年到一千年之间啊，中泰两国就有这种人员的来往。在泰国学习中文的人都很多啊，据说有有一百万啊泰国人在学习中文。Official data show that there were seventeen Confucius Institutes in Thailand. At one point, there were over 2,000 Chinese teachers and volunteers teaching Chinese cultural courses here. Walking around the streets and scenic spots of Bangkok, I felt like I was at home and made a welcoming environment for Chinese people. It is the result of two countries promoting cross-cultural education and tourism. It's also a clear reflection of a country willing to truly understand China. Liu Jiaxin, CGTN, Bangkok.